Jackson. Best dance boys podcast, period. Melly Mel, and this is the best dance sports podcast. Period. This is 806 the show. <laughs> we got a fantastic show for y'all today. As always, I am joined by REG. What up, y'all? Sound effects, sound effects, sound effects. Sound effects. <laughs> and Sanchez. Let's go. That's me. Thank you, thank you. We got golf. I usually don't clap. I usually don't clap. <laughs> It sounds way better. It sounds way better after mastering the effects. <laughs> and joining us, innovation, Baldwin. <laughs> yes, yes, right on claps and one fucking horns, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. all that shit. Yes, sir. Well, welcome into the show for the first time. One of the hottest fashion designers in Massachusetts right now. Go, if you look man. at the table, you can see the brand. Let's go. Make some noise for Matthew Lewis and the decoded brand. Let's go. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Adel Thank, Thank, Thank you guys. The Thank show. You Hell yeah. Ooh, Thank you for coming. Now, right. like always, when I hit up guests, I need this feel. Like, well, what's, what teams you like? What sports you like? What, da, 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 just to make yeah. a, pre- a good rundown, you know? Right, right. So this one was easy because my man Matt here is a Cowboys fan. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Josh is like, oh, I pulled that off. I can just use the whole thing. <laughs> put, put all the playbook. Oh, we've had oh, many, 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 Cowboy. many Cowboy fans here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can pull out the playbook from like five America's, weeks ago. America's team, America, man. It's not. You, how long can you call? First of all, it's the star, right? I think it's the star and the logo. Listen, <laughs> y'all keep talking about the Cowboys it's because they're America's team. Once it you stop true. talking about them, then maybe things will change. But even if we win, see, it's a double-edged sword. Even if we were to win a Super Bowl, all you're going to say is, ah, finally. It's exactly what yeah, yeah, you're not going to lie to you. What we don't win is, is oh, when's the last time you won one? Well, shit, I don't have control over that shit. <laughs> but I do know that that's my squad. Yeah. And and if it's three on one today, then it's three on one. No, no Diddy. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. but hey, that's my team, and it will always be America's team. And hey, I don't make the rules; I just followed it. <laughs> Where did you? Th- oh, yeah. Go ahead, John. Well, I'm just ask you one thing: Do you go into every season seeing your roster and think Super Bowl champ? <sighs> To be honest with you, when you look at the Cowboys almost every year for the last 15 years, on paper, there shouldn't be a reason why we don't win the Super Bowl. Right. But taking from the paper out onto the field, Mm -hmm. different ball game. You know what I mean? Um, So, yes, on paper, we should be going to the Super Bowl, but they just – we suck. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. We suck. In, this, in the playoffs, we suck. It's the curse like, of Jerry Jones. Like, it's, it, no, it's, 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 really, it's, it's, it's him. It's either Tony Romo can't hold a fucking field goal. Oh, no, 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 I can't believe You know what I mean? Still. It's either Des Bryant catches the ball, but the league says it's not a catch. <laughs> it's it's um, Dak throwing oh, yeah. 50 fucking touchdowns in a season, goes to, the, goes to the playoffs and throws the other team six touchdowns. Like... You just you just don't win that way. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, on paper, and I think everybody knows that. Yeah. <clears throat> when you look at what they build from the inside. But I think, I think, I think that's the, like, that's why we crap on y'all. Because, like, like, deep down, y'all supposed to win. Like, like you usually yeah. have a good roster, but yeah. it's, it's like, it's like, like, like Steve what well, can co- go wrong, yeah. will go yeah. wrong every time. There's Cowboys fans everywhere. That's, the, that's why they're America's team. They, like. This is, this in is, every is, state I think it's the, in the country, I think it was the swag from the nineties. That's why it was popular. Yeah, That's no, the for real. Because because you know, yeah, I'm you still, had prime time. You with had Emmett Smith. You Emma had Emmett Smith. Smith. Yo, it's like I'm still a fan of those. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, Michael Irvin. Yeah, you know, those you are my a, guys. Who's a, you who's had a, a lot of people, but you had a lot of people. <clears throat> you know, you had the um, the Nate Newtons. You know, the big the line itself. You know what I mean? The best line was, ever was <laughs> made Emmett Smith. 
who he was. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for you sure. know what I mean? I've always said it. You put Barry Sanders back yes. there. <laughs> and we don't just have a leading preach. rusher. In it. Like, nobody, that's a record yeah. I feel like never gets broken. Yeah. Um, the way football is built now, even though with them trying to be safe, <clears throat> I feel like Emmitt Smith's record will never get broken. Because I feel like the lifespan of a of running, running back, back is so low, is yeah. like three to four oh, yeah. years. Right. He had a right? long career too. And uh, yeah, you know what I mean. He's out there playing like Brady and well, the, all the Cardinals too. <laughs> the Cardinals, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean. Like these people put in that longevity. Yeah. But you'll never see a record like that. At least I don't think. You know what I mean. I thought at one point maybe uh, was it Adrian Peterson? Yeah. I, I thought maybe. Right. He was on what six right now? You know I think. What I mean, um, but it's just. Uh, Back was, in the in the '90s, those were you know, yeah. That's, I think that's what the swag gave time. you. Yeah, you obviously. You I went, even had a jersey. I had the Emma Smith shit, jersey. Did shit. He? You I'm not. But I was that. Uh, hey, so how, the, was hell, hold on, how the hell did you come on here yeah. and now we're saying good shit about the Cowboys? How the hell? You see the no, truth no, 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 always no, comes no, out. No, no, we were supposed no, to be professional. No, 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 no. We're talking about. The glory days in the '90s. We're not talking about the Cowboys now. If you really look back, I'm always like. Semi supportive when Manny's here, and he like I'm always kind of like you know what I think they're gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm always like, low like key, there low is key. potential, yeah. but you just never reach it. Like Dak actually didn't get that many picks this year. Like Dak sucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's your guy. Can he be a quarterback in the NFL? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know what I mean. Is he gonna do his job? Is he gonna get you some wins? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But you're not elite. Right. That's just. The fact it's he's like, not elite, no, he's and not. come playoff time, my man is just and he's just just good enough that you're afraid to take risks out elsewhere. Like this, this year, year we, I'm not we, gonna we, do. We get a quarterback in the draft this year. Oh, okay, so one hundred percent. Didn't they just get um? They got someone like to back up um, from the Niners. Um, Trey Lance. Oh, yeah, they had Trey Lance. I forgot about Trey Lance, but that's not who I was thinking. I think they were. You talking about the um, the young kid from the 49ers, Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, number 15. Something like that. Yeah, no, they picked him up, but I think they were doing that more. That was like a, I think they were baiting. I think they were trying to make some trades and some moves yeah. and stuff like that because, I mean, well, honestly, who well, the fuck is that kid? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of moves. There you go. Not a lot of moves this year, this offseason. Uh, nah, so what they did is that they moved all their equipment out of the locker room. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, into their homes because that's where they're at. They ain't doing nothing, and I, I don't. <laughs> I will say this, though. A lot of people talk shit about not picking up um, Derrick Henry. Mm. Yeah. Didn't even offer him. I knew he was going to Ravens. <laughs> yeah, but Look, at least offer him. <laughs> I get we need a, a running back or, you know. Henry's not in his prime no more. Either, yeah. yeah. He's a big back. He can only do so much. Will he have a breakout game maybe and, you know, out of 16, 17, 18 games, he might rush for 230 yards in a game and have like Absolutely. three touchdowns? Cool. That's cool. But it's not going to get us to where we need to go. He's not a longevity quarterback, uh, running back, excuse me, maybe a third down back. Absolutely. But not at every down back, I don't feel like. That's just my opinion. Yeah. So when we didn't get him, I wasn't surprised. We don't get anybody anyways, but I wasn't expecting them to go after him. You know what I mean? Maybe y'all, a phone y'all call. Y'all still got uh, Tony Pollard? <clears throat> he's gone. No, he's yeah, gone. He's left. Tennessee, that's where he went. That's so random. Yeah, so we don't, we don't have a running back right now. So my thing was that is like, yes, he's not going to be the every down, give the ball to the running back. That's, that game's gone from <clears throat> the league, period. Not even just him, for the league. No right. one just only runs. So Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, but they pass it to him. <laughs> he does it all. Yeah. <laughs> he's a that's player. why. Like, he's... he's and that's we why that running those. back is going to be forever. I think that the, eventually, I think we'll get rid of the running back position. It's just become, it's going to be what it's just going to be McCaffrey, right? Yeah, look, the, I mean? the McCaffrey, and the McCaffrey just, position. Just like <laughs> you, I, you can't tackle at the hip and Dude, that, drag down. You can't. That pissed me you off. Can't right do here, kick returns, kickoffs. <laughs> it's hurting the game. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I feel, in my personal opinion, is because people are soft. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people are so soft, <laughs> yes. and like it comes to like there's a certain line. I get you trying to like protect the players, but protect the game as well. Like, come on, it's football. <laughs> it's football. It's you football. pick the sport, like yeah. you. 
You we didn't draft well anybody. Flags. This ain't yeah. anybody throw flags on them yeah, and, right. and turn the, the That's Pro Bowl. Coming. Like, yeah, they should just throw flags on them. But even if you do flags, in my person, I, I coach here and there. If it's powder puff football, if it's uh, uh, Pop Warner football, uh, college, pro, semi-pro, anything that has the word football in it is going to be physical. That's yeah. right. If you don't like physicality, go play singles tennis. Yeah. Go play golf. Right. Go do something else with your time. Football, I believe, is a sport that changes people's lives for the better. Yeah. I feel like the camaraderie, the brotherhood, what it is to be in that locker room, to be in a huddle, right. to really look up at the scoreboard and be down and, and know, you, hey, we got to get this. It's just something you almost you can't explain. You know what I mean? If you know, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> but they're, the killing, trenches, they're yeah. killing the sport that changed my life. And and I'm not a fan of that shit. I don't right. like it at all. You know what I mean? Like, leave, well, leave the game alone. Well, let's, let's dive into that. You say this is the sport that changed your life. How? Elaborate a little bit on that. So I grew up in Michigan. I played football back home in Michigan. Okay. And then um, I moved out here to, to, to Methuen, Mass. in 2002. Okay. So I went to Methuen High for a year. <clears throat> but football... Uh, back home is not football the way it's football here on the East Coast. Um, football is religion in the Midwest. Oh, okay. It is religion down South. Yeah. Absolutely. People don't just play football to play football. Over here, it's more of like a fucking hobby, I feel like, for the yeah. most people. Yeah. I know I got to watch what I say because people are going to be like, here, no, you don't. No, I know <laughs> no, what the no. fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> you know I what I mean? <laughs> um, it's, it's a different culture. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Even the way coaches interact with kids, the way they talk to kids, the way they talk to parents, the way parents talk to their kids and other kids that don't belong to them. It's a community and everybody's on the same page. We're here to fucking win and teach these kids discipline and, and, and become men off the field. You know, right? Right? But yeah. sometimes parents are not teaching their kids how to be men at home. So they need the coaches to teach them how to be a man on and off the field. We, we need that. Kids need that. Yeah, absolutely. And where I come from, I learned a lot of my values, who I am, what I am, how I go about my business, comes from playing the sport at a young age. Right. Whether it was pole to pole in the street, two on two, yeah. or it was, you know, Friday night lights. That discipline you know. like structures you for life. It, it, really, it really does, though, for the kids who, <clears throat> who, who are in it. You know what I mean? Football now is... Yo, look at my drip. Look at my take a picture for the gram. Oh, it is crazy. You so want to taunt the social you media. Play. Social media, like yeah, right. You know social I mean? media. The reason your fit looked bro. nice because you didn't get tackled. You didn't play no dirt. You know, your jersey's still clean. <laughs> I smell the fabric softener in it. Like, you know what I mean? It's 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 just different. You know, yeah. what I mean? and that's not saying that here on the East Coast people don't play football because that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's a different culture. Yeah, for sure. Of football. I bet. And if if you don't believe me. Take a trip. Go to Florida. You know what I mean? Go down to Alabama. Go to go to Michigan. You know, you see how big Michigan football is now <laughs> and everything. Just won a that, national but, championship. But, but they're like that even when we lose. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Like they're like that even when we lose. It's not just when's the last time you heard somebody say, Yo, I want to go to a BC game? Not never. Not never. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to go I'm though. Not, <laughs> Not now that you mentioned it, I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking it, but I'm just saying people are not lined up for that shit. No, yeah. right. You know what I mean? BC basketball. Um, yeah, not even be, that. That'd be nice you know to up mean? the culture, up the. It's, it's 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 going away though. Yeah, and it's all that's, that's the that's social media. BC, BC, that's just yeah, the, right. That's the every, it's the same thing. Look at my outfit. Let me work on my highlight reel. I'm about me, me. Everybody's. Going to three, three, four different high schools in their high school career. You're jumping from school to school to school, trying to get, you know, higher. Even now in college, you're jumping from college to college to college. It's just, there's no team. There's no group. It's me. Sports is me now. Yeah. I need to. I did, That's what happens. I I just my biggest to, check. Basketball just happens to be, a, or football just happens to be a team sport, so I have to play with y'all. Right. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it up. I'm, I'm trying to get an NIL deal. I'm trying yeah. to get a scholarship. I'm trying to. I thought it was. I thought NIL was dope in the beginning, but yeah, now I'm starting to see. To see the, you're starting to see what happens. Man. Damn! Like we just had the women's basketball uh, tournament. There's a girl who literally is about to transfer for the third time. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, oh, I don't like my situation here. What, what happened to like, yo, you're freshman, grind it. You might not play freshman year, but grind it till you. Nope. Oh, I'm not playing here. Soft, I'm gonna go to this school. Yeah, yeah it's tough. <laughs> oh, I'm not playing. Oh, I didn't get enough carries here. 
I'll go over here. Or I'll go over here. That yeah. is crazy. Soft. It no is, man. Money changes everything. Absolutely. Like, That's why they didn't like, want to give it to everybody. Not true. But, yeah, but at the same time, they deserve the, the, the money. leagues, some schools, favoritism. There is a fine line where it's just like, hey, I've given this brand or this company yeah. all of me. Yeah. And, you know, here's your walking papers without a heads up or, you know, it's like they just, it's a business. You know what I mean? And I think that what, I don't know if it's coaches or teachers or whoever needs to prep these kids at a young age. Like, hey, this is a business. Go into this with a business mentality. Go do your job. So at the end of the day, you could look in the mirror and say, I know I did my job. Mm -hmm. if, they, if they cut ties with you, you know you gave it 100%. On the other side of that, they want you. It's because you deserve that. You, you worked for that. So they're going to pay you. Now, some people are grimy. You know, the Dallas Cowboys. You know, they'll let you go if you fucking sneeze and fart. Like, if you do the wrong shit, they're like, yo, you, you know what I mean? They don't want to pay. Yeah. Watch when the CD Lamb contract comes up. Oh, man. Oh, there you go. It's going to change the game. We're going to see what happens when they have to pay Michael Parsons. A it's lot of money. You heard that, right? You heard, mm -hmm. Right? Everybody's not like a Sprite can just now because, <laughs> because it's the truth. Yeah. How do you pay on paper all of this talent? But when these dudes do perform, the Raiders just fucked up. Just an example, the Raiders just paid this receiver $160 million for five years. What? For what? Six touchdowns and 1,000 yards? Like that, wow. So now when you have somebody like C.D. Lamb and his numbers, they go based off of who was the last to get paid. Yeah. And Michael Parsons is going to get paid. A lot. Michael Parsons, in my opinion. He better get paid. <clears throat> Like Ray Lewis, the Lawrence Taylors of the game, the Terrell Suggs of the game. I agree. He's a problem and a generational talent. You have to pay him. Right. And if they don't, you best believe there's 31 teams <laughs> that are ready to fucking pay him. Because Absolutely. they know it's an investment. They're going to get their money back. Jersey sales, yeah. ticket sales. Who doesn't want to go watch greatness? You know what I mean? Now you got to pay Dak if you keep him. If he has a breakout season, if they go to the Super Bowl, they're going to be like, all right, Dak, you know what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go. I'm surprised he, he's lasted this long. I thought they were going to like. But what's, there's no better alternative. Like, who you? There's not really like. He wins during the regular season. That's that's the enigma. Like, yeah, he's is. a good quarterback, but. Yeah. Well, you know, <sighs> he's all right, but he's not real. Yeah. 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 yeah we don't believe you. You need more people. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's just, that's just, he's just, he's Dak, he's Dakota. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, he's Dakota. He's Dakota when he comes to the playoffs. You know what I mean? He's not, you know, he's not killer Dak uh, like the regular season. And um, I think they fucked up when they got rid of Zeke. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. Do I think they should have got rid of Zeke a long time ago? Absolutely. But the reason why Tony Pollard was able to shine yeah. <clears throat> for those two years the way he did, where they thought that he could be the every down back now, yeah. wrong. Right. And it's crazy that some bum-ass motherfucker like me could see through the TV that the only reason why he was successful was because Zeke, yeah. right? He took the load and the pressure off himself because everybody's watching Zeke. Everybody's talking about Zeke. So when he goes into the game, he's like... Shh. He's playing free. He there's no right. pressure so on him. You know what I mean? <laughs> and when you're when you're uh, coming in off the bench, everybody's more tired. Every, you know what I mean? He had more opportunities, and you could say some of the holes that he would get through, you could drive trucks through. Yeah. Some of those holes are not there in the beginning of the game no more for Zeke. Oh, absolutely not. You know what I mean? He don't move the same no more. Yeah. Zeke helped Tony get to where he is, and Tony got paid by Tennessee based off of his pri uh, prior work in Dallas. Yeah. So, you know, you're welcome. But I also feel like have, they're not the same running back, same style. No. So that right there, everybody's focusing on, let's say Derrick Henry, focus on his style of play. Yep. Once you put someone who's slightly different, faster, mm -hmm. that next person is going to dominate. Yeah. Because they're not prepared for that person. They're ready for Derrick Henry. He's going to run it through the middle. Downhill, brute. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So yeah. once you switch that up, it's like, oh, now these two backs are the best in the league, this this team. But once one leaves. And they should have said to themselves, let's, if we get rid of Zeke, let's bring in Derrick Henry. Because he still gives you that flavor, but I think you have more legs 
on Derrick Henry than you did on Zeke. Yeah. I think you have a stronger Derrick Henry than you do a, a Zeke. I think Derrick Henry moves a little bit better than Zeke. Yeah. So you're not really trading for much, but if we want to keep the same running game where both mm-hmm. r- running backs hit over 1,000 yards or just about, yeah. then will. let's upgrade a little bit. We'll go get Derrick, and we'll, we'll, spend, we'll save money, and then we can have a two-headed monster with these guys now. We got fresh legs and a young Tony Pollard. And then we got this guy who's just a little bit better than Zeke right now. But no, they yeah. say whatever the fuck they want. Like who, uh, who, is the, who is it currently right now? Who's the. We don't have one. <laughs> me at all. I think yeah. yeah, me. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> this is why they were like, why yeah. didn't you call Derek Henry at all? <laughs> it's like, at least try. Call I think I think it's, we, we, we could agree. I think we've said it before in the podcast. It's inevitable. Like, the season that Jerry passes away is the season y'all are gonna win it just that's what's gonna happen I don't know what curse I don't know what deal this man made in the 90s I mean, y'all say this Diablo yeah. <laughs> it's the Jerry Jones curse it's Jerry we, Jones, it. we said it on the pod before, it's on the pod before it's the Jerry Jones curse yes. he, I don't know what he did to get those championships in the 90s but you're damn sure you're paying for him now oil money and when he yeah. and when he you know God forsake moves on Somehow you guys gonna rally around it and win a championship, and, win a champ. and then and we'll all be behind you when that happens. Absolutely. But you know what? You know, I won't Let's say go, anything. Cowboys! If we win, if we ever were to win in my lifetime, I wouldn't say anything. No gloating, no nothing. No, I learned at a young age when I was seventeen years old. I was watching a football game, and um, some things were happening. And this dude, uh, older gentleman, he passed away. He was a big influence on my life. He was watching me watch the game. And I was hyped. And he started laughing. And I looked at him, and I was like, why are you laughing? And he's like, because it's funny to watch you watch the game. Like, through my eyes, you watching this shit just reminds me of when I was young. And he said to me, he said, it's all bullshit. You know what I mean? You're watching this guy. I don't mean to take the, the, the life out of it for you. You know what I mean? But it's all, you, you root for this dude. You buy their jerseys. But and then the next year, they're traded. Yeah. Right. And like, what are you happy for? These dudes are making millions of dollars. What are you happy for? What have they done for you? So he did. It sounds fucked up. It's a cynic. Yeah, definitely. Like, like, damn, bro, can I just get my win? Like, <laughs> he was trying to tell me, like, yeah. don't invest so much time into Life. shit. Yeah, I get it. That didn't have no return. Yeah. You know what I mean? And your whole being shouldn't be about the Patriots. You, you know what I mean? And, and so he's sitting there. And he's just like, does the, you know, he told me straight. He's like, yo, did the Cowboys send you a thank you letter? <laughs> no. Do they ever invite you to the house for dinner? <laughs> no. So who gives a fuck if they're not winning? If you ain't winning Super Bowls, bro, it doesn't fucking matter. Why are you wasting your time watching the regular season? It doesn't matter what you do in the regular season. Doesn't. And you know what? I used to, at 17, me was like, in my mind, I'm sitting there and I'm like showing him that respect. And I'm like, oh, I understand. But in my mind, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> you ain't fucking up my shit. Like, you know what I mean? But as I got older, I started to realize... Amari Cooper, for example. Breath of fresh air in Dallas. Motherfucker went off. Then you pay him. And then you realize we don't want to pay him. So you get rid of him. What? <laughs> what? Y'all just invested $160 million into this dude? And then you take it away the next year? It don't make no sense. Right. Now, if you ask somebody in the corporate world or over there, not, they'd be like, this was all a part of the, the math and yeah. we yeah. got to do this and then we got to, like, you know, yeah. more to it than just Spreadsheet. what we see. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like, this is why I'm here and they're there. You know, yeah. they know what they're doing. But I'm just saying, like, football is a fucking beautiful sport. Long story short, you know what I mean? It's, I love it and I just, I wish things got better for it and I wish they weren't taken away so much because honestly old school again yeah. how I grew up you earned your spot on a football team by playing what? Football. Special teams. Yeah. Am I right? Uh, okay, yeah. Right? Like to yeah. a point yeah. again yeah. back home is you made a team by playing special teams. Mm-hmm. Show me you can play. Go fucking hit somebody. <laughs> Go knock. I want to see somebody fucking get hit in the ear hole. I want to see bubbles come out their nose. This is the <laughs> shit that was said to me. You know, you want to play? And yeah, I want to play. So do what the fuck you told. <laughs> and guess what? We'd fucking run head first right into anything fucking wearing another color jersey. Literally and fucking run war. right through it. <laughs> because that's how I got playing time. Yeah. So you do have 
these special players. I forget his name. The guy I played for the Patriots for so long. Special team. Slater. Oh, the one that just got retired. Slater, yeah, Slater, Slater, right? Slater. Slater. Is that the one? Is this Slater? What's just, his first just, name? Just retired. Yeah. Mm. It is. Levin Slayton. Slate. Slate. The dude's been on the team playing. Yeah, I know exactly. Like I know exactly who it is. Yeah. Like. But dudes like that, right? Who are just so special at special teams. Yeah. And you got a lot of guys, rookies coming out of college. You got a lot of guys who maybe fourth, fifth, sixth on the depth chart, wide receivers, corners, but they have speed. Maybe they, these guys, they rely on that special teams to go out there and be able to play the game of football. Now you're taking that away. Do you really need a 53 man roster now? Wow, Matthew Slater, you're right. By the way. Matthew Slater? Like, Matthew Slater. That's who he is. Yeah. Right? Do you really need a 53 man roster then point. if you're going to take special teams out of the game? That is crazy. I just feel like you're you're affecting it, it does affect jobs. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. people's dreams. You know what I mean? When I when I was young, um I, I never dreamed of being a millionaire. Honest to God, I never I never dreamed of having uh my own clothing. Um, uh, I, I dreamed of being a football player. Right. And then I realized that that wasn't going to happen. Yeah. So I started, I had to do other shit. But that's how much football meant to me. I, I wanted to be a football player. That was my, I didn't want to be a fireman. I didn't want to be rich. I wanted to just be a football player. And the way they're doing the game now is an injustice. They're fucking up the game. They really are. And you'll have parents go to flag football games. And a kid will go for a flag a real like a like a justified like flagpole. Yeah. And maybe our legs get tangled up and the kid goes to the ground. And you literally hear parents, what the fuck? This is flag football, it's not tackle. <laughs> and it's like, lady, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Like this is football and it's an accident. It yeah. happens. Yeah. yeah. Momentum. It happens. And and these people are just it's I went to a pads game. And I'm I'm not even gonna like sit here and Cowboys pads and this and shit on this and shit on that. Again, go to a Pats game. As fans, you guys want the ball to be moved downfield off penalties. Everything's a fucking hold. Everything's an offsides. Oh, everything's yeah, a full yeah, start. Yeah. Everything's a personal foul. Everything's a fucking <laughs> throw this guy out of the game. If you go to the game and, and you're not completing any passes or run the ball well, everything, if, if you guys just, if you just listen to the crowd, everything is, oh, that's fucking old. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, oh, that's, <laughs> fucking, oh, that's Boston. That's, yeah, that's no matter what it is. And it's just like, bro, how do y'all want to, like, I really feel like in Massachusetts, if you go to a game and you just listen to it, they're content with moving the ball five to 10 yards. Off a holding penalty. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're happy with that. They, that's a W for them. You guys, <laughs> I have had dark days. But what y'all about to go through? Oh, man. <laughs> my man. Yeah. It's going to be tough. But y'all have won recently. Sorry. And, yes. and, and, and that's probably still fresh for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you will see that nasty, sour fucked up medicine taste you guys will have in your mouth for years to come you know what i mean and then maybe we could all sit at this table and be like you know what bro i'm sorry i made fun of the cowboys <laughs> i feel your fucking pain right now that shit is fucking that shit's brutal bro that's know? crazy the yeah. fucking patriots well that that's in every sport around here because in basketball that's a moving pick yeah I think the he's boxing. It's, I think it's a hundred percent fact that Boston fans in any sport is the most obnoxious. I'm not even like, a fan of, of Boston fans. Yeah, I'm. I'm really not either. <laughs> like, just, like, because no, especially like for, for the Celtics, I, I love the Celtics, mm -hmm. but I hate the Celtic fans. Mm. Yeah, they kind of like we can't we we like drive everybody off our team. We just like bully every if you're not performing yeah. the way we want. Boston media Marcus sucks. Smart got a got a defensive player of the year, and then we just like, nah, we don't like it. Hit a three. Every point guard we get, we shit on until we get a new one. Kyrie <laughs> Irving was even here. We, we just could have paid Drew Holiday. Yeah. That's know. what you guys did. I mean, going back to even baseball. Yeah. yeah. You know, Mo Vaughn. Oh, yeah. Mo yeah. Garcia, yeah, everybody. Uh, letting everybody go. Uh, we'll yeah, you guys, when it's time to pay uh, uh, Damien, um, what's his name? Johnny Damien. Johnny Damien, yeah. Like, when it was time to pay people. Yeah. Y'all don't want to pay people. Right. But here's, here's the problem, and this is let's play devil's advocate. Clearly it works. Because we win 
<laughs> had a, a lot of we Red Sox had a bunch of championships. Celtics, whatever. We got one. You <laughs> <laughs> said Celtics, we got one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're fucking well, one. You guys well, have a, you guys around, have a lot though. No, no, but I don't, I'm, not count, I'm, not, I'm not counting like oh, the sixties and seventies. Yeah. So, yeah, since I since pretty much I've been a sports fan, so you what? You didn't. Boston is definitely, in my opinion, title town. Yeah. yeah, especially since 100 yeah. percent But that goes back to what I was saying as far as when a player is committed and does the right things and should be on a team and retire with yeah. that team. Yeah, you know, absolutely. the Johnny Damons and there was the no fucking Tom Brady, bro. Like yeah. the fucking Yankees. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I hate Jersey. It, man. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no way that should have happened. Yeah. Um, what was that pretty boy there? He was playing for the Celtics for a while. He had a funny ass name. Then he ended up going to the Yankees. Um I, if I think of it, I'll, I'll bring it up. But he was a young kid. Uh, he was going to... Uh, what the fuck was his name? On the Celtics? Or no, the Red Sox. Uh, the Red Sox. Sox. Okay. Okay. baseball player. He played for the Red Sox. He was supposed to be like this really... Dustin Pedroia? But no, no Verdugo up, recently? No, was that the laser show? Pedroia? Uh, yeah. No, Not he, Pedroia. He didn't go to Yankees. He retired, right? No, he yeah. retired. Oh, yeah, he was retired. Right? Yeah, yeah, he was, he was hurt. Yeah. Yeah. No, we don't, some of these guys do give all. Yeah, and we don't in pay them. Return, it, there's no payback, and right. I feel bad for those dudes because some people, I say to myself like, no, nah, he should have retired. The problem was that jersey. clearly as fans, and as owners and GMs, and then we're willing to sacrifice these players to win rings. <sighs> as long and, as and, if you and, win, but that's I well, still. And, and what if we go start going for a dead period? Then yeah, we're like, all right, what's going on? It's a but, double edged sword. There's like yeah, there's all, some good points on this side. Yeah, some good exactly. points on this. So I always try to make sure I watch what I say really? because I, it like people could twist things or be like, no, you said that. Yeah. Listen, oh, fair is fair. Like <laughs> it's a business, but. Yeah. Where does that line stop where it's like, you know what, let's give this guy his flowers and he yeah. should be here. He shouldn't go to the Yankees or he shouldn't go over here. He shouldn't do this. So, like, you know, it's 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 sports and that's why it's a beautiful thing because we get to sit here and talk about this shit and debate it. And, and even why we have the show and we love and it. laugh about it. Yep. And, yeah. You know what I mean? Because it, it does bring sports like music, I feel like, brings people together. It's the passion yeah. of it. It really it's is. It's a universal you language. I mean? In fact, and if you don't like sports, uh Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem yeah. I have. <laughs> Go sports. No, no, that, that's a, no that, to add, that's a big problem because like when you're in a relationship, you guys you dating, you have uh, a girl. You I do. You meet <laughs> other couples and you have to talk to another guy. And if he doesn't know sports, it's just like, bro, why do I need to talk to you? Like, what? what I, I I tell my girl like, yo, he's done, bro. Like, we can't we we can't be friends with these motherfuckers. We can't. <laughs> hey, he ain't lying. No, no, no. it's like you can't. Because what, like, what do we talk, talk about? Talk about? I fucking will. pastel paintings. <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what the fuck is somebody that? Somebody go straight be into, into some, politics. I'm like, come on, yeah. bro. No, I hate people talking. The game about is that. literally on TV. I can't imagine talking about something else. <laughs> no, it's I just painted my deck. All right, that's cool, John. Yeah, right. Yes. All right. We do love talking sports and and in, 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 in football and your Cowboys. Well, it's time to celebrate. Like I said in the beginning, That's one funny. of the hottest, newest fashion designers Let's in go. the state. Around. Not even the state. I don't want to limit you to Massachusetts. Ah, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. You know what it, I mean? Around. Everybody's getting so 50% know. off today. <laughs> All right. So this is the hottest cold. fucking yeah. clothing line I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's free. It's free. Yeah. Yeah. So I know I, I don't want to... Uh, uh, we want to do the origin story again, but just quickly. 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 Yeah. Yep. When did you decide, like... You said before, you, you figured out, you, all right, football's not going to happen. Correct. So when was the pivot yeah. to like... Um, so the man who pretty much raised me when I was 14, um, I told him I wouldn't say his name, but, um, I got into sales at a clothing store and maybe you guys remember a store called Urban Made Impressions in Rockingham Mall. They had the big tall black dude with the dreads who ran the store. Rockingham is where? Rockingham, New Hampshire? Salem, New Hampshire. Oh, that was out of and mind. And then after that, we went to, we opened up a, another location. We were in the mall for 10 years, though. And then after that, we went to another uh, little spot outside of the mall. Not as much traffic. The store lasted maybe like three to five years or something like that. Yeah. And then we just shut it down. And then a store called Currency opened in Lawrence, 
I don't know if you guys heard of currency, but um, that was the, you know, I call him my father. He's pretty much raised me. And uh, he opened a store with his business partner and they had a store called um, Currency. Mm -hmm. And so I've always been in the business. And yeah. I've, you know, I've always just been around clothing since I was like 14, 15 years old. And it's always something that I enjoyed. You know what I mean? Um, long story short, about four I've had the brand now for three years, but about four years ago, um, I, I was sitting there and I was listening to um, St. John. Okay. Okay. And uh, I, I just I, I, I just started listening to his music and I was just like, you know what? I like this guy. I like his music. I, I, it's different. You know, yeah, it's yeah, a little yeah. different. You yeah. know what I mean? He's like I a little hippie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucks with him. He's got some swag. Yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? And I just like the music. But then I started paying attention to, like, what he was wearing. And I was like, oh, I fucks with that look. Like, you know what I mean? Um, so, and then I decided I'm going to I'm gonna do, you know, I do a couple hats. I do some sweaters. I do some shirts. But for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I just turned into the more I started listening to music, the more I started getting into the zone. And, you know, um, and I said, you know, why do something half ass? Let's go all the way with this. If I end up broken alone, at least I gave it six Everything. months to however long it was. Right. Instead of not even trying and then finding out like where I could have been. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So I said, fuck it. Well, we're going to put all our eggs in one basket and we're going to just we'll go with it. I do believe in myself and I believe in what I'm doing and how I go about it. I get inspiration from everywhere. If if you really follow the brand, if you really pay attention to some of my things that we touched on earlier. Yeah. Um people like Kanye big I can, that's because that's the vibes when I'm going to the IG. Those are the vibes I'm like, "Oh, I could lit I, you could see Ye on stage." We're in shit. We're in this stuff. Like, like, like I said, yo, you could, Ye would wear that mask. You know. So I, I, I have, um, I had this debate with a buddy of mine, and uh, speaking of of Ye, mm -hmm. and it's it's very frustrating. This is a very hard business. I feel like I got in. I feel like at times I got into the wrong business, because yeah. I feel like it's one of the hardest businesses yeah. to do. Because there are a million competitors people have to wear clothes every yep. day. We talked about this earlier. Mm -hmm. People have to wear clothes every day. It's like people have to eat every day. What are you eating? Right? Why do you eat that instead of eating this? Mm -hmm. There's so many options. Yeah. There's Absolutely. so many options of clothing. Yeah. You can go to Marshalls and you can put a nice outfit together. You can go to Louis Vuitton and put it out if that's what, you know what I mean? Whatever your wallets, are, you know. Yeah. And I guess for me, I just felt like I got to the point where... I knew I wasn't going to look back and I was going to go all the way with this. And a conversation I was having with the buddy the other day, I said, you know what sucks for me is that I can give Kanye or whoever a design of mine and say, put this on whatever the fuck you want to put it on and watch what happens. And it will be sold out in minutes yeah. around the world. Right? <sighs> Kanye can give me now one of his designs and I can put it out on my Facebook on my platform, it's very small, but it is a platform. And I'll be sitting on shirts for the next four to six months, not being sold. But that's Kanye's work. So yeah. is it really about the work? Right. Or is it really about the name <clears throat> right. behind the work? Oh. Yeah. Right? So that's what's frustrating. Yeah. Is because I want my chance. Like, don't look at me as just Matthew Lewis. Give me a chance. Like, give me, give me a chance by my artwork. Look at my catalog. Yeah, this yeah. is what I want. I, I don't care about my name or whoever else's name. I want, to, I want it to be based off my, my work. Right. You know what I mean? As a whole. Because I guarantee you, like I said, if he had something that belonged to me, it's sold out all over the world because of the weight he cares. Well, you're not Kanye West. Well, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. You know what I mean? But that's not my point. My point is that I can, I can put out what they put out. I'm just not going to sell the way they sell, but it's just, I feel, I feel, it's yeah. just, a, if not better sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, the Jesus piece, sure. Yeah. That was one of this, my favorite if, ones. If Kanye had, you know how he just dropped like his, uh, when he dropped the album, he dropped the, the, the merch. 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 Right. If, this, if this stuff was in that merch line, I would have bought it. Right. You, like compared you, to like, you know what I mean? Who wouldn't want to buy that? Yeah. And then on top of it for 20 bucks. 
Oh yeah, that was yeah. crazy. Right? But it, he my man sold a white tee for five hundred dollars. A white tee. <laughs> <laughs> That's power. Yeah. You know Blen what I mean? Balenciaga's selling a roll of duct tape. <laughs> I've seen that for a bracelet. Yeah. It's see-through duct tape. It's duct tape. And and then the inside of the cardboard that holds the tape <laughs> says Balenciaga. Yep. Like scotch tape. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's crazy, though. Yeah, I, mean, I think that this one is, is it crazy, with people. though, or is it, or are they poking fun yes. at people? Yeah. yeah. Are they saying, yeah. look how, either how look at how much power we have, or look how stupid you are. It's a little both, I think. Right? Because mm -hmm. I feel like birds of a feather flock together. We're mm -hmm. going to make money regardless, no matter what we put out. No matter what. Yeah. They're throwing shit at a wall right now, and they're seeing what sticks. Yeah. And people who... I'm a fashion guy, so I respect any and anybody's views or thoughts on fashion, because who am I to be like, that shit's whack. I might yeah. not like it. Like, right. what you're wearing right now. Right. I don't know what that is. I've never seen it. But it's my job to analyze and interpret because that's what decoded is. Analyze and interpret. For so, whatever your reasons are, yeah. you're wearing that shirt. Now, I can look at it and say, hmm, maybe, maybe his girl broke his heart. And now he's trying to sew it back together by his clothing. Maybe yeah. that's your story. I don't fucking know. I just know that it's a heart with uh, strings through it and in a, in a saying, right? But for whatever reason, no fake love. You you like that? That's your cup of tea. You know what I mean? So who am I to say that shit's whack? Yeah, I'm nobody. Right. I applaud whoever made that shirt. I applaud you for wearing that shirt. Yeah. Because that's your vice. That's your muse. That's where you woke up today and said, you know what? I fucks with this. What I want to wear. And who am I to shit on other people? That's a big problem I have in this game. It's like the rap game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, this dude's whack. This dude's whack. Massachusetts. Just the camera right here? Yep. That's yeah. your camera. Right your Massachusetts face. hates on everybody. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no matter what yes. you're doing. Yeah. And it's fucking sad. We it's deal with the same shit with our podcast, man. I could only imagine. I could only imagine. There's <laughs> days I get up and I, I want to quit. You know? I, 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 I don't want to do it no more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or then it's just sometimes it's a lot. You know what I mean? But for me, I can't stop now. I feel like I've gotten too far, yeah. mm -hmm. and and there's just no looking back. You know what I mean? And I got to keep moving forward. I got to keep pursuing my dream. I got to keep leaving something behind for my kids. Because at the end of the day, this is what this comes totally down to. For. Yep. I don't give a fuck about me no more. I live my life. I'm 37 years old, right? I've, uh, I think Will Smith said this the other day on a podcast or interview. He said... I have all the money in the world, and I, I have bought. You, you know, have you yeah, seen this? Yeah, yeah, he said, yeah. I bought everything, and then when there's nothing else to buy, and there's nothing else to do with your money, what do you have? And I said to Deep. myself, "Fuck me." Deep. Yeah, I, what, I what do you that. have? So I, I'm still trying to get to some of that money. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but when I don't have anything left, is because I gave it all to my kids. And that's what I'm aiming for. So when he's talking about, you can't buy because I have 10 of these. Of the, okay. But everything I don't have belongs to my kids now. No. And that's the end goal is to do this to show my kids you can work hard. You can come out of a place like, out of all places, Massachusetts. And with all the hate and all the people trying, it's like crabs in a barrel. Yeah. Right? You can do it, though. You know, and they see that dad works Monday through Friday. I'm in the union. I'm a laborer. Okay. That's what I do. I get fucking dirty. I'm on my hands and knees. And I'm like a bitch for a company for 40 hours out of the week. And my back hurts. My feet hurt. No, my we know, hurt. bro. Trust me. We you know. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, people don't see that side of my everyday life. Mm -hmm. Well, I choose not to show it, really, because it's not that cool. Right? So what do I do? I show my social media like, yo, I got this, I got that, I got this, I got that. And it's marketing. And that's what I have to do because that's the business that I'm in now. Yeah. And with our phones and social media, that's, what, that's the game right that's, now. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't adapt, you die. Psst, Fact. Absolutely. Right? right. Yeah. If, if, so you guys have your podcast, 806, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say my man over here, he has a podcast, 807. 
<laughs> Why should I listen to 806 right. instead of 807? Yeah. What are you doing to separate yourself? What's your personality? What's your theme? What mm -hmm. are you doing that's so much better and different than what they're doing over there? Right. That's my challenge every day with myself. Yeah. Why should you buy this decoded hat instead of fucking dog shit over here? I don't yeah. know. Like, you know what I mean? Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because that's the best fucking hat on the market right now. Yeah. When Sweet. you wear that hat, that name right there that I've worked with these hands for, that brand speaks volumes. Yeah. There's nothing better than that fucking hat. That's why you should buy that fucking hat. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. That's Egyptian cotton in that motherfucker. Right there, Say you know one more time for the camera. One more time. He said Egyptian <laughs> cotton. You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah. it's, 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 it's a lot, but I love what I do. And, um, you know, it's dope. fashion is, is all around us. Yeah. You know what I mean? It really is. You know what I mean? You guys want to make your, your podcast look cool. You know what I mean? You want to decorate it however you... Look at this place. This place is fucking awesome. I've, ne I've never been in anything like this. I'm still in art. When I walked in here when the music was bumping, yeah. I was like, shit, I'm about to be in a movie. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's mean? a vibe. Where's, where's my script in my, yeah, in my, my chair? You know what I mean? It's like, a vibe. This is, this is nice. And, but you know what, though? You have a full-time job. You have a full-time job. Mm -hmm. you have, yeah. You guys take the time to do what you want to do. Right. And that's why you're here. Absolutely. Because you love this shit. Absolutely. Yeah. If you didn't love this shit, you wouldn't be here. I don't believe in my opinion. No, no right, you know right. I mean? and, that, and that's another thing as far as people go. You have to get rid of fucking people that can't do nothing for you. Yeah. And that doesn't mean you're fucked up. It just means, yo, baby, I'm on a different level right now. I'm locked in. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. mean I don't fuck with you. But I just don't fuck with you right now because I'm doing something else. And y'all want to sit here and y'all want to get high every day. That's cool. Y'all yeah. want to go to clubs every night. That's cool. But when shit hits the fan, I bet you can go on your phone right now. And I bet you can call 20 people right now to go have a drink with you and they pick up and say, let's go. If you drink. I'm just, I don't know. Yeah. I feel you, yeah. Right? Get somebody on the phone right now and tell them you need $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait Right Maybe people. maybe 20, ask somebody If they have $500 That you can borrow Or ask somebody Hey Let's go on a business venture together It's true Ah fam ah, ah, I <laughs> Like I would You better come with that PowerPoint I, I just got this you nigga come with the, you know, my, my kid's <laughs> mom Just fucking hit me With his child support <laughs> My tire fell off you know, it, It's always gonna be something I gotta come yeah. through With an official presentation and <laughs> So for me When I see you I just met you today mm -hmm. I just met him for the first time today. We follow each other on social media. Yeah. I didn't even know you had a brother. <laughs> but right. now I met you today. It's but it's, it's refreshing and it's cool. I know, I definitely. He's like, know, this is my co-host, sorry. My sorry. man, the, the, the Wizard of Oz behind the like, wizard. <laughs> you guys are like a breath of fresh air for me. Appreciate it, To be it, able bro. to go into a place of the unknown. Y'all yeah. could have literally sat here and took shots at me. If you wanted to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's your show. Oh, and one. the only person that oh, would know that you're taking shots, it. right, would be me and you. Yeah. You could have seen some shit on Facebook. Like, oh, so, you know, da 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 What do you mean by that? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But to, to make me mm. feel welcome. Of and course. To, to take the time to invite me back to the hard work and stuff to, to a stranger into your home and say, hey, we want to hear your story. Absolutely. Right. Come into what we built and let's share it together. That means something to me. It really does. Like I, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate that because I come from a place where I don't have much. I didn't have much. So when I get to break bread with good people, yeah. I get to enjoy myself. I feel like I could let my guard down and That's be yeah. who I want to be and, 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 and just be relaxed and have a good time. This shit's nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, listen, like, we, we, we forget you sometimes that, like when you think about it, like, the amount of people that come on here probably get anxious coming here or maybe because they've never been through this experience before. Never and we do it every day. Yeah. We but don't I mean, think Listen, we didn't come on here. The, like, if you watch those early episodes of season one, you know what I mean? They're not the best. No, <laughs> you know what I mean? No. We're nervous. Too. I was really nervous. But you know what I mean? It, it's we, we it's, got yeah. it's something it. new that you some don't, people don't want to put themselves out in front of the world. Yeah. Basically what it is. So I understand when people want to be on, but 
they say, ah, I don't think I'm comfortable. Dude, if I could, if I'm I had a, do- if I I had a dollar it. for it, not, this is not no shot to anybody. Oh, yeah, no. If I had a dollar for any time I scheduled somebody, because usually like, I got that scheduled a few weeks before, mm-hmm. that, but when it comes to the like, uh, fam, you know, I have to actually go da 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 da. And I take, I don't even take offense if I take it as like, all right, man, I get it. You're not. You're not yeah, ready you're to not, be on comfortable camera. We have camera multiple right. cameras here. We got lights and shit. Yeah. This is like you said. A lot of people trust me. Season one, people walked in here. They thought that it was gonna be in my grandma's basement, smoking and drinking, chilling. <laughs> and when they come, you come in and you see it's a studio. You're like, oh shit. No, no it's intimidating. Yeah, I, I, I feel I, it. I, when I walked in, I, I looked over. I was like, Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. they, they, this, they is, this is real. real. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I mean we, we we definitely. Um, so, but again, I just I'm I'm. I'm thankful. I'm always you appreciate thankful. You. Right. Again, there's a misconception of me, right? Where I'm, people think that I'm rude or that I'm that I think that I'm arrogant or that I'm this or that I'm that. Listen, don't fucking believe half of what you see. Stop. And none of what you hear. Bro, I, I quoted that last week. <laughs> uh, did you? Yeah, 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 that's yeah, you know what I mean? So, like, and, 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 that's the, and that's the truth. Like, yeah. until you get to know somebody, you know what I mean? Don't judge me off of my appearance. Right, yeah, yeah. Don't judge me off my, my work. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're going to judge me, you know what? Then judge me off the father I am. Right. Perfect. Love judge it. me off the hard worker that I am. <clears throat> Absolutely. You know what I mean? Judge me off of... Things that are positive. Not right. everything has to be so fucking negative all the time. That's why. That's why I like doing this show because I, I'm a very reserved person, introverted person in general. Regular, yeah. If you see me in public, I'm not this friendly all the time. Right. So there's a, also a misconception of me from from my peers and yep. But this gave me an opportunity to kind of like show people the positive side of myself in a way yeah. where like a lot of people didn't know or like oh like, oh I didn't know Ario was that. Um, Happy. Yeah, happy. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, exactly. And, and, and I didn't know he had a yeah. okay. you know sense of humor. And that's, that's, quiet, that's, that's why part of it, obviously, main reason we made this show is because we like talking about sports. We did what we, what we took, what we did in the basement or what we did on yeah. group text or just chilling at, this at, is at the a group couch chat. somewhere. Yeah, this is the group this chat. This is the group chat. And we brought it up here. It's a nice but, name, though. That'd be a good yeah, name. It was, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was one of the choices in the beginning. No, yeah. but think yeah. about all the stuff you share, sports. You see something sports, you share it into the page. But then the added on to that, we're like, oh, we actually got a chance to, like, we have people, we have friends who we, who've had business and we had a chance to have you on. And you have people yeah. like, all right, we we see what you're doing. Right, we think that shit's dope. Why don't I use my platform to, to get right, a spotlight on it? To get a spotlight. That's Absolutely. literally the way we can make it. And you brought up Drink Champs. When, what does yeah. Drink Champs say? We came, we have you on to celebrate you. Yeah. Correct. Give so that's flowers. essentially what we're doing. Mm-hmm. We, as, as long as we can like mix sports with like promoting someone's brand. Yeah. You know, like someone with their brand and we could put sports into it. I think you could tie in sports. To, to everything. To, right. You know what I mean? And yeah. music. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I feel like it just, if you know, you know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, some people might that might not make sense to them. But this is, again, thank you guys. Oh, thank <clears> you, not man. that this is the end of the show. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? I mean no, we're not ready to leave. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. We got more uh, questions. Just, yeah. <laughs> going back to what you said real quick, though, I want yeah. to touch on something. You guys do have a platform, though, no matter how big or how small it is, that allows people like me to come on here. And even in your daily lives, I don't know what you're going through and what you're going through. Yeah. But when you guys get to come here for an hour, two hours, three hours. Therapy, man. Right, we love it. It's like going to the gym yeah. or yoga or whatever. People are weird shit that they're into. Like You know what I mean? It's, it's your going- time to get away, but you yeah. get to vent. Right. And because I wish I had one of these with me every day. You know how many times I'd yeah. yell fuck into this thing? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm mad about something, <laughs> yeah. I'm frustrated, or something's not going my way. So, hey, if you guys ever need a guest, yeah. just anytime. Just, bro, I'll man. pick up, man. Absolutely. I'll pick up. Now, a couple more questions on the brand. So, we've, like we said, the Jesus piece. The, the the one you're wearing now with the cross. This and is the, the um this is the decoded dealer um hoodie. Okay, that's dope. Um, it basically, it's <clears throat> I'm not selling drugs. I'm selling clothes. Yeah, yeah. I'm the Dakota dealer. Yeah, you know what I mean. And uh, for the spring, um, I'm dropping a couple uh, pieces for a fashion show that's coming up May fifth. Cool. And nice. um, but the summer. Going into winter and into the fall, I'm telling a story with the Dakota dealer. And uh, we touched on it earlier. Yep. It's going to go into, you know, um, kind of like how any maybe drug dealer, car dealer, whatever dealer, 
yeah. starts off somewhere yep and then they get to a certain point you know what i mean i feel like i'm in that phase right now where if i was the dealer i'm moving bricks right yeah. i'm to that phase i'm not in the mansion yet <laughs> yeah. but i'm not in my mom's basement selling dime bags out of the fucking basement window and shit yeah, yeah. Come yeah. In and asking yeah. for jimmies and you know what i mean we, we got past that but you know i'm to the point now where you know i'm i feel like i'm moving bricks yeah. but also i feel like i've plateaued in my community of people. I've said mm. this in my previous podcast where I feel like the community that I'm in, has, I have plateaued and it's my job now to be creative, to reach out to different types of people yeah. of all races to try to get my brand out there. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I feel like the people that I'm around now, they want to support. Yeah. I feel like some of them really do. Yeah. But I think a lot of people have a big misconception of if 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 I don't buy something from you, I'm not supporting you. And that's not true. That's furthest from the fucking truth. You take a picture of this hat and you post it on your social media means more to me than you giving me 20 bucks. 100 fucking percent. Yeah. Because that one post now, how many people you have on your Facebook, for example? 700, 800,000? Yeah. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, I don't know. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Average, right? Yep. You, you, mm -hmm. right? So now I just reached 3,000 people because three people decided to take the time to take a picture of my hat and post it on their social media. 3,000 people average, yeah. right? Out of just three guys. That means more to me than fucking anything else because out of those 3,000, maybe I get five people that buy a hat that day. Or yeah. the next day. Or now it's in the back of their... Right. Oh, you know what that Dakota... Like, oh, I, I've seen that around. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I was wearing... I was wearing... So, like, I, this is a local brand as well. Like, I always wear other people's... No, you got to shout them out, man. Uh... <laughs> shout, out, shout out Marvin. No fake love. Go no get, fake go love, get you, Marvin. Go get you that. Fucking um, from Salem, too. And, like, I'm always... I was wearing a hat. And someone from, like, uh, Revere was kind of like... Oh, where's that from? I've been seeing it a lot lately. Mm -hmm. Like, what brand is that? Not realizing it, it, it's a local brand, and they're thinking it's like a big brand. Right, but that's okay. No, exactly. right. Mm -hmm. Does it have to have a name brand as long as it looks good? No, right, oh. but like in the back of their mind, it's like, oh, I've seen that somewhere. They, that post can be like, oh. It can trigger something. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, oh, I, I see. You see it enough times, you're like, oh, that's popping right now. I'm about to give me one of those hats. Like, I'm sure you guys seen like those, like, um, those pictures on, on social media where it's like a picture of a receipt and it'll say like uh, supporting your friends zero dollars yeah, 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 yeah. product zero dollars okay. total whatever, yeah. whatever zero dollars that shit is deeper than cleats like yeah. it does send a message and it, it's so meaningful behind it I mean it's something so simple but it's the truth again if take these hats yeah I don't I don't care for your money the money's gonna come but I don't care about the money right now. You doing that for me means more, again, than the 20 bucks. You're opening doors. You ever heard the saying sometimes, the smallest door opens to the biggest room? Uh, no, I haven't. No, that's that's, fucking, that's dope. dope. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I feel like that's what you do for me, right? As a gesture, like, here you go, bro, take that. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, uh, you know what, in return, though, just take a flick and tag me. That's all I ask. Yeah. And I get a lot of people who sail to do that, but then they never fucking do it. And it's the most annoying shit ever because then I feel like the the street side of who I am and where I come from says, you just stole from me. Basically, yeah. 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 Am I right? Yeah. 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 Am I right? Yeah. You just stole from me. So yeah. now how am I going to act? Yeah. I have to remember I have a business though and I am a father. Yeah. But best believe there was a time in my life if you owed me ten dollars, you wasn't giving me nine. Yeah, <laughs> no, right. I promise. Right. You know what I mean? So if we have a deal amongst men or women, take that product, just take a picture and post it for me. And then you don't. One, you lied to me, and now you stole from me. That's fucking whack. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's no other way to put it. That's just like fucking whack. When, like you just you might as well just ask me for thirty bucks. I would have gave it to you, maybe. Right. You know what I mean? You realize so, how, how like, especially when doing business, how not everybody's as solid as you think they are. 
100 percent. Like, like, especially when doing business. I think that's part about being an adult. You realize if, if you're a real one, because I, you know, I think everybody in here believes they're real or knows they're real. Accounting people who are not as real as you, it's something you have to deal with as an adult. Fact. Like, you know what I mean? And it's that's like, something oh, they, that you're not really ready they didn't for. Like, come up with those know, like, principles. What, like, they didn't. The thing where he's like, why didn't he do that? I would have did it. I would have had no problem doing it because you're real and they're not. And yeah. it's like that's the disconnect that you have to get used to, unfortunately, when you're dealing with business or you an adult world at all, period. No, in fact, right. I've run into all kinds and um people who know they fucked up, they'll they'll come up with excuses or you know, <laughs> when I call somebody out on their bullshit, I've always been if 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 you guys ever Wanted to take the time to find out about me, you know. Ask me. I, I'm, I'm a straight shooter. If, I, if some mm -hmm. bullshit, it's some bullshit. Yeah. If you're right, you're right. And if I'm wrong, I tell you, hey, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I think because I'm like that though, as a person, and I call people out, they're like, "Damn, you're mad aggressive." No, I don't think I'm aggressive. I just think that you're not used to somebody calling you out on your bullshit, so you yeah. take it as being aggressive. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not being aggressive. I'm just telling you like it is, and it hurts. Yeah, you know what I mean, and and I'm proud of that. I'm never gonna change. You know what All I mean. Right, I'll never Jim. change. Um, did I tell you that we're gonna do like a big sale because of you guys on Dakota? Uh, no, you no? should tell the people right <laughs> now though. No, All right, you want to yeah. look at that camera? We're gonna do a, a, a 806. Um, uh, what do you say? Pick a number, one through five. Let's go five. Five? <laughs> Fifty percent off all decoded. Oh, yeah. For the next twenty four hours. If you go to uh decoded uh dot shop on my uh Shopify, you'll you get go. fifty percent. You're welcome. Off. I could have mm -hmm. said I could have said one. I was gonna say four. <laughs> no, you said four and I was like, four is like, good. And then when you said five, I was like, motherfucker. Five? <laughs> This dude, you should have said one through four, man. Jesus I was going to say two. I was going to say two. He got that 20%. Yeah. Yeah, well, got I, I didn't know where we're there going. Was four. I like that, that one. I want to ask more uh, questions about the product. There was one that I saw today. It was literally like, might have been, I was driving here. I think it was on your Facebook. Yo, you have a motorcycle jacket. Yep. Bro, you got to see this shit. Yeah. Actually, I look at this shit like, I've never in my life thought of like buying a motorcycle jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because I don't ride motorcycles. Yeah, that, that's right. right. But you that know, shit was fire. Like, I, I felt like I felt like I was like, yo, I could be like Cam and Cameron and fucking Peyton Ford with this jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing, Biker doing boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was one of my, one of my favorite. I know we just talk so about different it, products. It's funny. So every piece that I do has a story behind it. That's dope. If you were ever, my phone is on all the time if you even had a question about hey what's this mean or what's the meaning behind this i love what i do so much i take the time but like, here's my number call me and i'll break it down for you when i first started if you watch the podcast i've said this before when i first started i had upside down crosses with the word decoded over the top oh yeah so and right over the pocket right here it says do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good when people saw that they thought right away this dude worships the devil that's what you analyzed. That's what uh, you interpreted as the hoodie as. That's okay with me. You did your job. But you judged me because if you took the time to just ask me uh, what it was, I would have told you that the reason for the upside down cross is because when they put Jesus on a cross, they were going to put Peter on a cross. And he said, I'm not worthy to be put on a cross next to this man. Hang me upside down. For the longest time in my life, I felt like I wasn't worthy of a lot of things. So that cross upside down symbolized me not being worthy when I was the whole time. Okay. So some people might look at that and be like, ah, that's still the devil. That's okay. I know my truth. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if you took the time to read my story, you would know that that's where that comes from. If you look at every single shirt that I've ever made, there's a hidden message in all of them. Whether it's a saying, whether it's a, a, a mark, a, a, a hat, like anything at all. Yeah. It has something that, that I've been through in my life or that I'm trying to tell people. Yeah. Back to decoded name. <clears throat> I have another logo with the D with the halo yep. and then the rose. Again, I grew up in Michigan. The D kind of symbolized 
the Detroit line uh, Tigers cap. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, with the D. Um, and then the halo is for all the people in my life and in and, uh, and other people's lives who have passed away. It's more of a, if you will, a, a tip of the cat. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's dope. And then the rose has always been for my mother. She's been the only lady who, you know, gave birth to me and, and, and who was there for a, a, a period of time in my life. You know what I mean? So that was me giving her her flowers. You know what I mean? Beautiful. Um, I made a hat with the D with the roses and then extra roses on the side here. And what that hat symbolized was the D holding a big rose actually through the middle of it was symbolizing you shouldn't have to wait until people die to know that Nipsey Hussle was the man. Yeah. You shouldn't have to wait until people pass away, whoever it is or whatever that they did in life for them to be cool again. Oh, this guy was this. This guy was this. This guy. There's people who've passed away I've never even heard of, but I go on social media and apparently this motherfucker was the GOAT. Yeah. But why wait until he's in a box yeah. to tell somebody how fucking great they were? Yeah. So that has symbolized me telling everybody around me, 806, my, my wife, uh, this guy on the soundboards over here, the, he, the extra flowers are for you guys. Where, where, We're not going to wait until people are gone to pass flowers out to people we're not doing that while we're here and we have a platform that you guys are allowing me to use i'm going to give people their flowers and i think that's what everybody should be doing with their time instead of fucking hating on everybody and anything because you're miserable with your bullshit lives you need to take it out on other people a lot of people don't see my vision because like steve harvey said god didn't give it to you he gave it to me so i don't expect you to see what i see you know what I mean? And that's how I feel about that, man. Honestly, that's just how I feel about that. Hell yeah. That's fucking dope. Right? All right. Shout out to Cody. Shout out to Cody. <laughs> Definitely. The, oh, real quick. The jacket. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, jacket. Like, the jacket. She can see. She can see. This thing got so deep, I forgot I asked the question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My bad. The jacket. So the jacket came about in the last, actually, um, 24 hours, not even. Um, my My older brother... Uh, I don't know. He wants to be a stuntman all of a sudden. And yeah, hell yeah. He wants to ride bikes. He's That's riding dope. dirt bikes okay. and shit. And, you know, he's got his he's got his own little, he's got a mission he wants to complete. Yeah. So we're going to help him with his mission. So as you know, I also do Decoded Sports. Okay. Decoded Sports gives people a platform in the sports world to look fucking good as they're looking good. Yeah, I think I see, I think you, I seen like a, you did a ref, un, ref uniforms. I did ref uniforms. Um, I seen a couple I'm sure of you guys all heard of, you know, Deuce. Flag football player. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I sponsor Deuce as well, and amongst other people in sports. And it just gives people. I don't have a um, a runway in Paris, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have that. I don't. Ha- and I don't have a runway in Milan. But the sports world, why not make it my runway? Yeah. Why not have people wearing yeah. fashionable things in a sporty? Uh, uh, sense to it attached to it to, to make them look good feel the old Dion term you know what yeah, I mean yep. and and that's what we decided to do so with the sports with the the, the bike uh, jacket, the yep. motocross jacket that's the and if you go back and you look at it you'll see it you're and right. you're gonna start cracking up that yeah, jacket is based off of Kill Bill mm. I, I know what you I know what you mean <laughs> I, I get it you know what I mean he's looking for it. he's like oh you know yeah. what so, no I get it cause like that happened within the last 24 hours, and that's a jacket that um, I'm, yeah, I'm making for my brother. So uh, when he rides motocross. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, like, Bill, you get it, right? Yeah. You know. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> we'll get both and put it up on the. Yeah, we need a, we need a TV in here. <laughs> That'd be dope. You know, having like a TV behind Probably. us and point at. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and that <laughs> just, you know, that just something to, you know. Make him feel good about what he's doing. Yeah. And when he's out there, not everything has to be Yamaha, Suzuki, yeah. Fox, and all these. You know what I mean? Why not have my shit on there? Yeah. Why not? Ooh, no, literally. You know what I mean? So that's where that jacket came from. And that happened with all in the last 24 hours. So, you probably so you're, thinking, tell, you're telling me you designed this jacket in the last 24 hours? Me and my brother. That's fine. Uh, you are a talented motherfucker. Right, yo. Yo. Me that's, and my brother. Because that, that jacket... Right I was like, God, I even thought I was like, I haven't seen this one before. Because obviously, like, you say, like, someone sharing the picture, you know, could have some people buy. Someone sharing your picture is how I found your brand and how I, you know what I mean? How I got you here. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, no, I, um, 
I um when you reached out to me, I think we talked about it and um she might have mentioned something about a podcast or and I was just like, Yeah, yeah, you know what, I'll check it out and then kinda like you know, yeah, my day life whatever, happens. You know what I mean? And then um when you reached out to me, it was kinda weird because I was sitting there like, Motherfucker, I swear we were just talking about this shit the other day and I, <laughs> and I showed her and she was just like, Oh yeah, like you know what I mean? And I was like, you know what? I, I hope um I hope they follow through. Yeah. Because I wasn't going to be those people you was talking about yeah. going to hit you up. Nah. Like, no, I can't make it. He told me he get here at like 7.38. I was here at like 6.40. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like in the hallway doing push-ups. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I was, I was getting we had, we had him in hair and makeup before. <laughs> yeah. Real early, real early. <laughs> well, obviously, like our show is part of the sports show. Yes, the best sports podcast, period. Yeah. We say it in the beginning. This would be the undershirt. What the fuck? Oh my God! Now, what, what, what would what would this represent? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the long sleeve. That's so, the... so I I, I put I, I I did a little play on words with the, the <laughs> Rolls Royce. Yep. Right, made it Dakota Sports. That's my other logo there. I have a Dodge Charger. Okay. But I took it when my license plate says decoded. So I took their font, I like that shit, and I made decoded instead of it saying oh, Dodge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. These are these are Portuguese crosses to represent us being Portuguese, and then the tiger is you know what I mean. It was a little edgy. Tigers are you know cool, man. You don't have to explain that. Tiger's fresh. Mike Tyson had a tiger in his underwear. And then that would be the back piece. Nice. I love That's that dope. right there. You know what I mean. So you know. Again, these are things that I love to do. You know what I mean? If, for example, if you were to tell me, hey, Matt, can you make an 806 podcast like t shirt for us? It'd be done tomorrow. Because why wait? Right? What are we waiting for? What do people wait for? There's right. be no reason right. why we procrastinate. Like, I want to get as much work out as I can because I do know, like everything else, there's going to be a time where. I want to relax. Yeah. I'll have other people working for me or under me. Yeah. Or, or it doesn't matter. My job is to get my brand to the point where I'm in 50, 100 stores across the United States. And people that I know and that I love and that I grew up with all have a job. And it's not just about those football players you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Me, 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 me. Yep. I'm, not a, I'm not a singles tennis player. You know what I mean? My name's not Rafael Nadal. You know what I mean? I'm a team player. You know what I mean? And I know that um, any any talented any talented person could win you some games, 100%. But a talented team could win you all the games. Yeah. So Facts. I feel like for me, yeah, I'm winning right now by myself for the most part. But I feel like if I put a team behind me and I have people who are as dedicated as me, who want to be here, I don't think anybody could fuck with me. I honestly feel Beautiful. like there's nobody in the game right now that could fuck with what I'm doing. We can go shirt for shirt, <laughs> jacket for jacket, yeah. hat for hat. Right. And I, I, at the end so, of the day, <clears throat> I, hey, I love and I respect all designers. That's, that's what I was going to say. Like, no knock on any designers. A lot of them, are, it's cool. Like, I, I, we support a lot of them. But the amount of detail that you've put in your in your work, I haven't seen around here. For a local brand. For Quality's a, always going to get you to, like, I'm always, I always support everybody's stuff, like, yeah. whether I like it or not. But then right. the quality's like, oh, even if it wasn't local, I was going to buy this. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, right. Like, that's what, like, if it's a fire shirt, it's a fire shirt. It is, man. You know, and, like, you know there's a lot of talented people out there, too. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like, like the reverse with that Kanye example, mm -hmm. I feel like if somebody had my platform, even though it's really small, I'm not boasting yeah. or nothing like that, my small platform compared to their no platform, it would it would help them. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? And so it's like the reverse of that Kanye thing. Somebody can give me their design and I could put it out and you know, it might help them. Right. It might. Mm -hmm. You know what it hurt? Yeah. So when people hit me up and they want to collab. I'm always down to work. Yeah. But it's the people that hit me up that want to collab. You can tell by the way they message you, 
by the way they talk when they don't even know you. And it's, yo, I want to put a fucking shirt together, homie. What you think? Yeah. Nah, homie, that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. Like, you know, you're not, I don't even know you like that. So yeah. it tells me that you want to ride the coattail, but you don't want to do the work. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's your social media look like? What's your background? What's your end game? What is your goal? And if you ain't answering the questions the way I need them to be answered, yeah. then you're just doing this for clout. You're not doing this because you love this shit. Right. So why the fuck am I going to give you who makes my shirts? Why am I going to open up my black book to you? Right. And then what I get, though, on the opposite side is like, ah, oh, that nigga's whack. He don't, he didn't, you know, he didn't want to look out. He didn't want to give us his connects. I worked for my connects. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. You know what I mean? So yeah. if you work with me and it's legit and you want to do this because you love this shit, we then have the connects. You know what I mean? Yeah. But until then, that we shit, I don't speak French. Yeah. My favorite saying. <laughs> we, so I don't we speak French. Over there. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Right. All right. We have reached my yeah. favorite part of the show. The DJ Bosco said a question. Like we're weird. Yeah. They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, delete, 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 Red pill or blue pill? Pick one or the so other. We're in the matrix. We are in the matrix. Okay. All right. Just don't pick no purple or no orange. It sounds diff easy, but people are messed up. So All right. Hit me. First question is always the same Jordan or LeBron? Jordan, let's it. go, let's go. Stop my it. man, I'm, I'm, I'm offended that you guys even. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. listen. You would be surprised. <laughs> we had a LeBron last week. We had LeBron we last had LeBron week. LeBron he, was last he, was he, was he was young. 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 He was soft. But, but, to, <laughs> be, <laughs> but, no to, be, but to be fair. <laughs> Like 80% eighty is probably Jordan right now. I think it's way more than that. It's, more than it's like 90%. Yeah. But, 90, see, wait, wait, but, but he said it best. Who are you asking? Exactly. Not, you know, right. Kids usually, in their 20s, It's a mix. 25. You, usually the people who are who pick LeBron are in their the 20s. Younger, They're usually you know I mean? younger. So it's like, it's like a whatchamacallit. Uh, it's kind of a fucked up question to ask in a sense. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? We yeah. all know the answer. Yeah. And even them, they didn't have to watch Jordan to know who the fucking man is. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But if they want to like LeBron, then let them like LeBron. Yeah. But we all know. <laughs> <laughs> we all know. We know. Listen, hey, 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 he puts one on tally. We, one day we're going to have a... Uh, we should get one real tally. tally. Yeah. Real tally. Definitely. All right, next one. <laughs> we got some warm moment. weather finally coming up. God damn, mm. finally. We earned it. Beach or pool? Hmm. Nah, Daddy likes the beach, man. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Daddy likes the beach. The yeah, beach is take fire. Take me to the beach, man. Yeah. Take, yeah. Me, take me to the beach. I'm not a big sand vibe. guy. I'm not a big sand guy. Nah, nah, the take beach me, is a vibe. Take it is a, a vibe, Take though. me to the Aruba. Beach, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay, okay, here we go. The beach go is a vibe. Beach. You get the volleyball going. You got the... You can get the... Uh, he's living <laughs> a Top Gun movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my head, I was like, that's the first thing you think of when you think of beach. Slides on. Think about like VR, playing volleyball on the beach, mangoes, coconuts. You're making it Girl, seem like we no, play volleyball uh, on the beach often. No we diddy. <laughs> no diddy. We pass around football. I think we played volleyball <laughs> one time in our lives Trust at me, the I, beach. I bring the football most cases. I just think it's cool. I want to one day be the guy pulling up with the, the, the volleyball, whole net. The volleyball <laughs> nets. Uh, bringing the uh, vibe to the beach. You know, sometimes uh, they just you come and I hear you. There's, no, there's yeah, nothing yeah, to yeah. do. You bored. You didn't bring nothing. You're just oh, sitting there. That's, that's a problem. Why didn't you bring anything? Yeah, yeah. He's the guy at the beach that got just a loud ass music. Yeah. That's 
the Corona. Just, yeah, the party <laughs> starts coming. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. oh, what's going on over here? So, yeah, no, beach. Definitely beach. Beach. Yeah. Yeah. beach. All right. The age old rap question Biggie or Tupac? Tupac. Okay. Hands down. Okay. Quick hands talk. down? Hands down. <laughs> like the quickness. Hands down. Well, I don't even have to think about this shit. I was always a Tupac hands guy. Hands down. I think, I think I'm East Coast I, I, biased. I, you, you're even thinking about it. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're a Biggie fan? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. It's just, it's just, yeah. it's, it's, it's. I think I'm, I'm, I would think I'm, I'm biased. I grew up on, well, so, we said we said no theory a lot. I grew up on Bad Boys in '90. And, I grew you know up what? Biggie. We're yeah. the same age, and 100. percent And right. I'm not knocking you. I I feel like there's not a wrong answer. Yeah, it's not a right? wrong answer. It's right. a preference. But my preference. Yeah. Tupac, but I will say this: if you don't have an album for Biggie, what same song for the last 30 years do they just play on the radio for Biggie? It's just the same song over and over. Yeah, but that I mean, hypnotized, but that's like... Oh, juicy, too. Right, but yeah. how many Tupac songs did they play on the radio? I mean, yeah, but... The, Tupac had hits. Yo, Tup Tupac, Tupac had like, hits. Tupac was more than just a rapper. You know what I mean? He was an actor. Like, in my, you know in I mean? my opinion, this is a biggie point. We said album. In my opinion, Life After Death is probably the best rap album of all time. Life After Death? Top three at least, in my opinion. Better than Reasonable Doubt? Reasonable Doubt's up there. They're, 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 <laughs> yeah, they're in the three. Asking, they're in the three. That's what I, I asked, Honestly, that's why I, when I said yeah. one of the best, I was like, mm, better, let me do top three. Let me better <laughs> than Get Rich or Die Trying? Yeah. Oh, wow. Get Rich or Die Trying is good. Uh, <laughs> Life after death is better than Get Rich or Die Trying. I'm just, I'm just I love Get Rich or Die Trying. Better than Illmatic? I was about to say Illmatic might be my number one. So. I'm, I'm not huge on Nas, so I'm going to say, yeah, better than okay, Illmatic. I respect I'm not it. huge on Nas. I'm just saying. But I know what that album means. I know what Illmatic means to the culture. But, like, I, I, I'm not a big Nas guy, so I'm going to pick a reasonable doubt. Yeah, it's in the top three. Better than the Blueprint? Yeah. And this is a big Blueprint fan right here. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, we, we, <laughs> it's life after death, bro. It's literally so like... You like so you like Biggie. All right. All right. I respect that. I definitely like Tupac. Who you got? I'm a, I'm a Tupac guy. Who you got? You know, I was a Biggie guy. When, I was, biggie guy? Yeah. when I was in the fourth grade, I remember like arguing with, with like the Yeah, literally arguing with like, me. I'm fucking Biggie. <laughs> yeah. Elementary school people. <laughs> Would you agree that Hell Mary... Was it Hail Mary? Hit him up. Hit him up. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's the best diss song of all time. Of all time? Of all time. Yeah. I agree. 100%. Yes, absolutely. Better, better, better than Ether. Yeah. Yes. It goes yes. too hard. It's like. It's just off the first two so lines. Just the first two lines. I agree. Just off the yeah. first when two I lines. I think of rap battle. Mm -hmm. J. Cole. <laughs> when I think of. Uh, Jermaine. When I, Jermaine. Is that his name? Jermaine. Jermaine. Yeah. Jermaine. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Jadam, <laughs> yeah, right. Jadam is right. Jadam is right. When I'm glad you said that. Rap, I almost forgot to bring rap, that shit up. Rap is like when you are battling is war. Yeah, yeah. And people have that skill set where they can just say things and put words together, and you know what I mean. Tupac and that diss track is is. Yeah. In my opinion, the greatest diss track of all time. But there are some other good ones. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cube, Cube. Oh, oh yeah. no Vaseline. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get lost in here. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. You said you're a big movie guy, right? Yes. Okay. Two franchises. Oh. <laughs> Marvel. No, but that would have been a good question to ask okay, you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. See, it's hard to ask this question because I don't assume any, everybody watches those. Old. Ahead, I could be like Marvel and DC, and they're like, oh, I don't even watch movies. And I'm sitting you. there like, all right. That's a, yeah. Then we're all sitting we'll here with our dicks one. in our hands. Like, yeah. all right, cool. We'll pick right. one question. Yeah, we'll pick one then so the show can work, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fridays or the Rush Hour movies? I like, yeah, I like it. It's a statement answer every time. I, mean, I, I like this one, it. though. Like, I think I've picked different answers every time. All right. So the problem with that question is, is that you have Friday, mm -hmm. which is a standalone classic that I feel like can't be touched by any other movie that we're comparing to right now. But. You said franchises, so that the you whole, you mean as a whole. No, all three, I all three Fridays. See, and all three rush hours. So, I, go ahead. I was so we used to sing uh, "Bad Boys" oh, yeah, versus yeah. Um, rush hour. R rush hour. So I immediately thought that was a question. Yeah, yeah. You said Friday. I was like, oh, oh wait, this question Friday. again. You I so tweaked it up. So if that was if that was the thing, it goes "Bad Boys." 
Mm. Bad boy I, movies. Yeah, that, are the best. Yo, what? Because bad boys too. Yeah, yeah, Larry. 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 You can't beat bad boys too. <laughs> you, I, bad boys too. I thought was just what? as good. It's one of those things where it's like you, when you catch a movie that's just as good or if not better than the first one, mm -hmm. it's very rare. I, yeah. I like Bad Boys 2 better than Bad right? Boys. Yeah. Nope. I think Bad Boys 2 was like, I mean, Bad Boys, the first one. Mm -hmm. Classic. It, it, I would have picked Bad Boys right off the rip. There's nothing to even think about. Friday's a good movie. Yeah. yeah. But for me... There's just something about the Rush Hour movies. I fucking love Rush Hour. That are funny yeah. as fuck. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like... It's a great idea. People <laughs> will say Rush... I feel like people will say Friday based off of the hype and, and, and the yeah. markets left in culture. Yeah. Some people might never even watch it and be like, oh, yeah, Friday, because they heard somebody else say it. Facts, yeah. you're right. Right? It happens to a but lot of stuff. For yeah. a whole lot of shit. But when you talk about... A franchise all together. Let's let's face it. Those Friday after next and the, the next Friday and the two weeks ago Friday or whatever the fuck. <laughs> they're booty. What? Yeah, no, bro. They're not. Nah, they're not nah, 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 nah. See, I was with you until nah, right there because I watch good. Friday next. After, I have a Christmas party every year. We watch Friday after next. <laughs> so I, <laughs> Mike Epps is day day in yeah. real life. He is. He's the yes. same guy. <laughs> yes. Uh, Cat Williams is is micro mini pimp. In yeah. every movie, for the most part, yeah. so it's hard. And and you could say the argument for Chris Tucker, when he's in his movies, he's smoky. He yeah. he comes off that way. But when you put him and Jackie Chan together, yeah, it made beautiful. for some of the best fucking. Number two is you better. had people at the movie theaters waiting in lines, bro, for hours and hours and hours. Not only in the Asian community, in the black community, to watch this movie. Yeah. That shit brought people together, bro. I think we went with, with our parents when we were kids. Like, rush Hour 2? Yeah. My parents love... The, my, Dominicans love Dominicans Rush Hour. Love Yo, rush Dominicans hour love too. Jackie Chan, man. I don't like, know what you're talking about. It's, 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 it's Yaki Chan. Yaki yeah. Chan. <laughs> we have it's, the, we it's have so the hard to, and everything. It's like, so hard to go against action comedy. <laughs> my, two, my two favorite genres. We yeah. put it together and I fucking yeah. loved it. Absolutely. Where Friday's just comedy, you know? Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good Action comedy. Yeah. You got my yeah. two vlogs right, right there. Next one. Now, you're not too fond of flying. Correct. So I probably can answer this question pretty quickly. Okay. If you have to fly, mm -hmm. would you rather a window seat or an aisle seat? Uh, or does it matter? No, it does matter. Okay. So it's funny you said that. So when I travel now and I'm super fucked up, on all the drugs that my girlfriend gives me. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> nah, she gives Legally. me them. <laughs> Legally. Me, no, no, no. We ain't gonna Legally. get canceled for this one. <laughs> I get fucked up. <laughs> and what she does is goes out of her way to go to the front desk and says, hey, we need extra leg room and we need some space. So they end up moving my seat from where I am and they put me at the um the, the, the exit. The exit. Okay. The exit right row. There. So there's yep. like there's nothing really in front of me mm -hmm. and I'm the at doors peace. right there and shit. Correct. Yeah. And I'm at peace and I'm right there. It's an extra like fucking eighty bucks. But that's where I sit. So the question is um aisle. Aisle okay, yeah, okay. I'm right there in the aisle. So yeah. you're telling me so that when you sit there you know your job, if something goes bad, is to help everybody else. You thought Superman could fucking open up some doors? <laughs> I'd be so shook. I open that motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Quick. I was like, <laughs> oh, you're supposed, you're supposed to be, you motherfucker, you don't even want to fly. What the fuck are you saying if, to me? If, if, <laughs> if I were to land in water, for example, that's like, I could only imagine what kind of adrenaline rush <laughs> that would be, bro. Fucking nuts, bro. Dude. Like, what? <laughs> When you sit in there and you you slide back that shade from the window and all of a sudden you see the water's like right here. Oh, happy. bro. What? Not, I'm not going to be happy for Talking that. to God at that point. <laughs> not do that. Right. Middle of the ocean, sharks, no. not determined. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to survive somehow. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to leave here with something. We're going to leave here with something. We got to make it home somehow. <laughs> Whether I Where we are? We're flying at the eye. We can't be that far. I'll tread water <laughs> until they find me. <laughs> we got life rafts. Let's get it. Fact. <laughs> Fact. Back. All right, next one. We just had WrestleMania a couple of days ago. I don't know if you're a big yeah, wrestling yeah. fan. Yeah. But an age old, another age old question The Rock or Stone Cold Steve Austin? Are you guys big wrestling fans? Not as much as we were not with as kids. Much, but 
right. I've been dipping more into it recently. So I'm yeah, a wrestling yeah. fan. Yeah. I don't give a I don't give a fuck. Laugh if you want to. Nah, no, 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 no. I'm no, a no. wrestling fan. I left the nah, hell no. I watch WrestleMania. <laughs> die hard though. Yeah. Okay. okay. I kind of wish I stuck with it too. It's crazy because <laughs> yeah. no matter what you're doing, when you hear that glass break, <laughs> yeah. You heard the sprite cans, everybody yeah, again, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. It's like you take the air out of everybody. Yeah. When you hear that glass break, you already know that it's about to be mayhem. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers are catching hands and feet. Yeah. Everywhere. I was hoping he came WrestleMania. When I first I seen the Undertaker, I was like, bro, I just I need that glass to be right. I need that glass to break. But, I just needed it. Oh. Oh, there's a butt. Oh <laughs> shit. If yes. Nobody. And I mean nobody <laughs> on God's boss. green earth. Is better than a final boss. Final <laughs> boss. That motherfucker is something. He's a specimen. He is somebody who could really. He goes away for 10 years, 12 years, eight years, and the motherfucker doesn't miss a beat. Yeah. Right? He's taking bumps. He's doing things. He's flipping around. He's. He's he's in shape. The dude's a god, bro. bro they put him he really is. is. He, is our, he got rock bottom to a table. How old is he now? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I, feel like, I feel like The Rock is is our um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah. Does that makes sense. Yeah. Do you remember? Um, was it Walking Tall or the Walking other Tall? One? His first, like one of the yeah, 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 one, one of the yeah, He walks yeah. in and um, Arnold walks out and he says like. Basically, passed the baton to him. Oh, uh, no, I didn't even catch that. Yeah, it was like the I first scene of the movie. He oh, walked I, in inside I, the club. I, I, and no, I didn't, that. I didn't catch Bro, that. But cool. I think I think he is our, like, when I think of, like, Ken Griffey Jr., I think of Grant Hill. Okay. 51. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's certain people I think of or I, I correlate to. Like, I put Alan Iverson. Right. What, what, like, I think Ken of Alan Iverson. You think Ken of Ken Griffey. Griffey think Alan Iverson. Iverson. Yeah. Right. So I just think of, like, like, like their Grant Hill. Yeah. If there was no Michael Jordan, yeah. Grant Hill would have a lot more spotlight put on him. Oh, Michael, if he didn't ooh, get Grant hurt Hill, too. Yeah. And I don't he think he gets, he don't get his flowers. I'm going to give them to you right now. But Grant He's Hill watching. is one of the best. But I'm just being a professional, though. How he carried himself, yeah. you know, how he talked, how he walked, how, you know, his commercial, how he was with kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. That reminds me of Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, okay, okay. I just felt it. like. The perfect swing, his mannerisms, Grant Hill, the way he hooped wasn't flashy. It wasn't, it was that first oh, step to the just, hoop, beautiful dunk, mm -hmm. get back on defense. Like he just, they kind of just mirrored each other in that sense. Yeah, you, got it. you know what I mean? And sometimes when I think of like The Rock, I think of that's our Terminator. That's our um, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know what I mean? Our action hero. Right. Just, you know just what don't, I mean? for, just for don't, us, don't be in a Terminator movie, Rock, please. Oh, I was about to say, Matt, no, I nah. hope not either. Nah, no, no, we don't want to see mean? that. We don't want to see you that. You don't want to see that? <laughs> here's, the with, here's the problem with The Rock <laughs> acting <laughs> in, movie, in movies. Any movie he's in, Nigga, he's the rock. Yeah. This is, this, this is his point. Yeah, he's, he's right. And everybody catches at least one rock bottom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, he's, yeah. Not, he's, not, he's not acting. He's like, I'm just going to fuck people up. He's literally like this. Like no. six movies where he's wearing the same outfit. Like he's not even trying. He's like, <laughs> he's in the jungle. Yes, that's yeah, right. Bro, he has the same brown <laughs> ass fucking shit for like seven sweaty. movies. He's in a movie. <laughs> in a jungle. I think he's talking about Jumanji. It's like this Jumanji. Yeah. Yeah. It was Jumanji. <laughs> that walking tall movie too. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same shirt. Yeah. Same shirt. Just got a little tighter. That's it. You should have worn the Versace. Nigga, come on. I take I take the rock. All right, cool. Him coming back and just flipping heel. Was fucking dope. so beautiful though. It, it, it brought us back. I was like, oh, let me it, catch it. Literally, once you showed up, like, oh, you know what? Let me stand in there too because now I don't have to watch full episodes or full things. I can just kind of like find See, clips and like, reels. Yeah, no, no, that's cool too. But for me personally, that's like every Monday night, every Friday night, me and my kids. That's dope. That's, that's our. That's, yeah, that's awesome. Fire. That's yeah. fire. That's so, fire. Why would I, I stop? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, it's not too late though. Well, like, I know. It like, don't matter what it is. You know what I mean? I, I know people who too. fucking sit there and watch Love and Hip Hop like is going out of style. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But for me and my kids, that's dope. Monday and Friday, we get up. Pay per view. Every pay per view. If it's in the morning because they're overseas, we'll wait for it to clear through Peacock, and then we'll watch the replay nine, ten o'clock in the morning. We'll be sitting in there in our pajamas, and that's what we'll do: eating fucking cold pizza. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but Mondays and Fridays, that's our thing. Like I won't be at a club, I won't be doing anything. I'm with them, and we watch wrestling. And if I'm not there. They're sad, and it's you know they're like, oh, you know, dad, like, where are you? Like, yeah. that's so that's our thing. So the yeah. world stops. Yeah, that's dope. Mondays and Fridays, don't fucking hit me up for anything. <laughs> Got it. No, yeah. that's awesome. All right. Yeah.
That's awesome. Who do you think is getting out of jail first? <coughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Tory Lanez or Young Thug? Huh. Damn, this is going to sound fucked up. It's not looking good for either of them. Is that a court uh, thing yeah. today? Honestly, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and I feel you. I'm like, I, I, feel I, you. I mean, like, I don't nah, know what they well. did or how they got there. I think Tory supposedly shot somebody. This other dude's running gangs or something. <laughs> <laughs> Rico you know case. I mean, like, that's the path they chose. Like, 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 if I had to choose. Help yourself. Like, you <laughs> know what I mean? I don't know. Though. You know what I mean? But I guess Tory Lanez makes pretty good music. What the so fuck? <laughs> Has Harold always been in that room? <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck? We've been on this podcast for an hour and 35 minutes. You scared the shit All out right. of me. That's pretty cool. No, stay, stay over no there. I'm going to say stay over there. Don't move my show. I'm just saying. Like, scared I just didn't know you were there. I'd say Tory Lanez, though. Right. Yeah, I'd say you. Tory Lanez. Because, like, my whole thing, well, Tory Lanez is, uh, is already convicted. Young Thug's not. So chances are Young Thug... Has better, Rico has a better chance, I think. Oh, of being, it's like ratting on each other over yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rico, they, they, they branch out. But that looks a little sloppy. It looks sloppy over there. Stop <laughs> snitching. Yo, they have literally. Yeah. The judge again. told them, like, they, they had like 400 witnesses. The judge's like, you need to relax. Break that shit down to like 200 or something. <laughs> Break it down to still, five. Yeah, like, <laughs> Fuck out of here. why do you need 200 witnesses? Like, it's, it's, it's too whatever. Well, I don't want to get into like crime and punishment right now. Okay. All right. Chinese food or Mexican food? Ooh. Here we go. This is the hard questions. <laughs> now we're getting this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we're getting to the stumpers. <laughs> yeah, nah. You got a lot more of these? Uh, we got, it's a dozen, so I don't know. We got to have a few more. All right. Um, I'm going to go with the China man. Okay. Uh, I like me some Chinese food. Yeah. Here we go. I like me some not as much, I don't side. eat it as much as I used to. You know obviously it is? It's not the Mexican good. food's more healthier. Than the Chinese food, so you might have it more often. But mm. deep down, you like that Chinese food. Uh, I just feel like so again, where I grew up in Michigan, I grew up with a lot of black folk, and I grew up with a lot of Mexican folk. My Mexican food it's is not a say, lot yeah. different yeah, than what they serve in here. Yeah. So Mexican food can be very, very, very good. Or very, 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 or just very Taco Bellish. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think that's the problem. What I have with Mexican Chinese food, is, food, I feel like for the most part, it's gonna hit. Unless you go to Florida, boy, <laughs> some duck sauce, uh, some yeah. crab <laughs> ragoon. Some <laughs> I'm not supposed to eat that shit. Okay, yeah, Chinese food. Chinese yeah. food wins. All right. Speak is Jordans or Yeezys. Ooh, fuck. If you, if you had to pick two, obviously there's other ones, but. Like you, you can't wear, you can only wear one for the rest of your life. <laughs> All right, that's. <laughs> I just, just gotta pick one. Yeah. <laughs> right. Sorry, we're just gonna drop this one. You know what? Um, fuck, that's a good one. The stump. There that's a, that's a so. really good one. Um, can we come back to that? Do you want to come back to it? Yeah, well, yeah. All right, cool, cool. That. That's, <laughs> I take this shit serious. Yeah, yeah. No, I was going to say, I don't think that. That's the first time someone said pass. So yeah, I'll get back I, to I, it. I take it serious. Yeah. This, is, this is serious. Yeah. That's it. That's no, a, that's that's cool. Yeah, we don't have any rule against that. I guess. Yeah, 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 absolutely. That's that's right, cool. Deal. We're Go back to the record. Right, already. Next one. Put a pin yeah. in it. Put a, a little mic on here. <laughs> All right. One of these holidays is coming up soon. Cinco de Mayo or St. Patty's Day? Damn, I, I didn't even want to fuck this up, but I feel like everybody talks about like immigration and like <clears throat> building walls and talking shit. <clears throat> but when Cinco de Mayo come around, <laughs> yes, preacher, yeah, everybody, yeah, right. everybody want to be Mexican. Everybody want to be something, but celebrate. not, <laughs> but not what you are, <clears throat> right? Yeah. So we don't. Or I don't want to say we because I don't speak French, but some people out here be talking that shit, yeah. but and then be wanting to celebrate that shit. So it kind of fucks me all up. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I hey, shout out to my Mexicans and they Cinco de Mayo's and the, ah. yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, St. Patty's Day, 
I'm just not with all that corned beef hash or whatever. Oh, the fuck I don't eat none of the food. Food. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. I just I'm gonna have to go with Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Okay, I okay. Don't, I don't Cinco even de know. Mayo. Like, like boiled dinner that doesn't even sound attractive. Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't even sound. I don't even. I'm not even 100 percent sure what it is, but I know it doesn't. Boiled it's not good. Dinner. That that's what it has a big on Irish, yeah. That's what yeah. so they had. They have boiled dinners in, in boiled yeah, you dinner. So boil like it. a chick that's built like a can. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you what do you what dinner do you boil? I don't know, bro. The corned beef. And the boil cabbage. Beef. And eggs. And every, oh, everything. The whole thing's boiled. I, I, yeah, right. <laughs> the potatoes. Yeah, that sounds mm. disgusting. It boiled. Moving on. I don't eat it. <laughs> All right. Two brands from the nineties. Two clothing brands. Go ahead. <laughs> from the nineties? Ready? Fubu, okay, okay, uh, was, shit was coming. Or Sean John, <laughs> no Diddy. <laughs> yeah, all right. I understand the importance of what Fubu did to the game. So shout out to Fubu. But you would never catch me <laughs> rocking any Fubu. <laughs> For us, by you, by you, for you, whatever. Yeah. Never. For yeah. us. That was but a big if you want to throw me some Sean John velour suits. That's the thing. Like, that's the thing. You know, back in the day, yeah, Sean John was man. a little pricey. It definitely it was, was like, pricey. It was a little, it was a well, little, little. It was pricey. It's Sean John all day. But that's, I thought Sean John was more like 2003, 2004. Type. Type. Should have went Type. Should have went I was definitely wearing some FUBU back in the day. I don't think I had so, much so FUBU, when FUBU I was young. or Echo Red? Oh. Ooh. I had no I was idea. rocking FUBU. You know what I have? Remember FUBU, the, yo, remember I, the Fat I, I Five South, Shoes? South Pole. That was like, yeah, South Pole too. <laughs> I, was South nah, Pole. I, was, I wasn't on South Pole. That was like that, like, your mom bought it for you. It was at freaking JCPenney or something. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, right. I got I got a you want real quick. Yeah. Academics? I remember that. Or Nietzsche? I don't know these. Nietzsche you don't like, know these? Nah. You know Nietzsche. Yeah, I know. I go Nietzsche because I don't remember academics. I don't remember you don't too remember much academics? of academics. I re I remember the name, but I like I, Nietzsche. Right. I could you know Vocal. I remember Vocal, which was Nelly's brand. Nelly's yeah. brand. I had Vocal or LRG. LRG. Mm. LRG. LRG. Nah, I have vocal. I had some fucking. It was the ugliest, <laughs> bro. It was literally the ugliest. I think I got it at Marshalls. It's the ugliest fucking. Sh Piece of clothing. It was like mustard brown, bro. Like, just yeah, said fucking. Sounds like Nelly's. Yeah, it was, it was. It was bad. I don't know who. Do you remember? You remember the company Gino Green? No. Uh, they did the leather jackets with all the nines on them. Oh, I yes. remember that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You might. You. I was in. I was gonna ask them. Or Avrex. Avrex. The leathers. The leathers. I'm about to wear Avrex. Avrex. <laughs> Gino Green was nice too, though, man. They did some shit for a little while. Gino Green has some nasty butter soft leathers. <laughs> butter yeah, soft. For real. <laughs> I like yeah. that. Right. No I like diddy. that. No, no diddy. He was like, take that, take that. Yeah. Oh, you don't, no. we don't say it no more. <laughs> you know, we, we used to say oh, that. No. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say, like, say that. So, we used to have, when we closed and he used to say before the episode ended, take that, take that. Yeah. After Diddy's allegations came out, he no longer says, take that, take no. that. No. What'd, what'd he say? No. I don't think he says anything it's anymore. Solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to find a replacement. Yeah, you're trying. That's stuck. All right. <laughs> Superhero question. Here we go. Batman or Superman? Batman. Let's go. Good answer. Mm. I'm like the number one answer. And now... We swing on back. Was it Jordan or Yeezys that you had to come yes, back to? Oh, yeah, Jordan or Yeezys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think we forgot. Don't think we forgot. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up because I got I got a lot of both. Right. You know what I mean? And and I feel like Yeezys when I want to bum it, you know, sweatpants yeah. or anything. Yeezys are so comfortable. Size, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And Jordans, you could still rock the same way, but and then you could be a little clean with it. I feel like you could wear Jordans with like even fucking like tuxedo pants. Okay, okay. You get what I'm saying? And yeah. a blazer with the hoodie underneath. Like you can do Jordan up so many different ways. You look like a fucking idiot wearing some Yeezys with some dress pants though. <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. So if I had to pick for comfort, Yeezys. Absolutely. Overall though, I would have to take I would have to take the jump, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to go with Jordan. 
Oh, okay. Someone's just like cool. gun to my head, like you got to pick one now. You, I, I pick Jordan. You go Jordan too. For the rest of my life, like like. Yeah, I mean, I have the threes, the fours, yeah, yeah. the ones, the yeah. elevens. I'll take Jordan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll take Jordan. All right. I'll take All right. further than that. Any shout outs? Shout out. Shout out to Vibe Entertainment. Shout, shout out to. Gods. Shout, shout out. out to Gem Alchemist Body. Oh, Gem Body Alchemist. Oh, you say it every week. You got to get this down. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Somewhere, sometimes you, you don't make it through. tough to say. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Young Soldiers Success, success Group. Yeah, I struggled with that one too. They just collabed recently. They did. It was yeah. awesome. Yep. Yeah. Shout out you, obviously. Yes, Definitely sir. decoded. Decoded. Thank Shout out decoded. Thank you. Thank All right. Before we leave, Cameron, tell them where you can find your stuff. All that stuff, all that information. Right. Um, you guys can find me on Instagram at decoded.shop. Um you click the link in the bio, that'll take you to my Shopify. Um, uh, can I shout out some people? You shout out whoever you want. This is um, all on you. I want to shout out um, you guys thank you. for, for having me. Um, I really, 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 really appreciate it. And I'll be talking about this for the next couple of days because uh, I am grateful. So thank you guys. Um, I want to shout out uh, my girlfriend. Um, and she has her own business too for all you ladies out there with fucked up eyelashes. The lashes, girl. Go see, hey. go see Lash Trap Shea at Glow Diva in Salem, um, uh, Mass. Uh, I want to shout out a buddy of mine who helps me um, with designs and printing things for me sometimes. His name is um, Chris over there at Makeshift. Uh, I want to thank my other buddy, Chris Richards uh, from Mill City. Um, uh, shout out to my man, Deuce. Um, you know, uh, he plays for the Boston Brigade. Good, good, good dude. Um, um, you know what? There's a lot of people, um, and I don't want to forget people. Right. So right now, I'll just cut it at that and just say thank you to everybody who um, loves and supports what I do, who keeps on um, pushing me to do better, who sends me positive messages on a daily. Thank you guys so, so very much. And last but not least, I want to shout out my goddamn self. Okay. Was Preach. Good, right? I mean, On um, that note, yeah. Well, thank you, Matt, for coming through. Absolutely. The coding. You Get already you know. Some. And what I'm gonna say, because he said it before, I'm gonna say it for you. Hottest fashion designer <laughs> around. You all better fucking recognize. Uh, REG co host, Sage's co host. I'm Melly Mel. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Solo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is <it> solo? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Timed it better. <laughs> that could have gone on for like another hour. Fire, fire, fire. fire, fire. 806 The Show is a proud member of the Vibe Entertainment family, so make sure you follow us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well as Facebook and the Gram. Leave us some comments. Hit us with some likes. Show us some love. You already know. It's 806 The Show. 806 The Show, you Take that, take that. 806 The Show. <laughs>